Perfect. Well, let's move on to this question of whether or not nuclear energy is renewable and clean. Um, why do you think nuclear energy is considered clean or renewable by some people and not by others? So it comes down to what is the definition. If you're going to call it renewable, you're going to have to say, well, what is renewable? What makes it renewable? If geothermal is renewable, then nuclear absolutely is renewable. Geothermal is nuclear just transformed. The, the majority of geothermal energy actually comes from the radioactive decay of all of the primordial radioactivity in the Earth, which primarily is uranium, thorium, and potassium, and the, and the decay products. So if geothermal is re renewable, then technically nuclear, or uranium already is in that sense. However, if you make a different argument, if you say renewable is where you, you spend a lot of uh, energy and you generate a lot of waste products to make uh, an energy extraction system, and then once you've made that energy extraction system, it will passively be given energy, say from either geothermal or from solar, and you say that's what it means to be renewable. You can spend as much energy and, and generate as much waste as you want, as long as once you've done it, the, 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 uh, the heat energy is free or the energy to make the electricity is, is, is passive, the nuclear would not fall under that category uh, because you, the, you do have to, once you build the extraction system, you will have to refuel that, that core, uh, say every two or three years. And so it, it doesn't meet that. Uh, but the source for geothermal being the same as nuclear kind of implies that if you're looking at something that's gonna be more long lived than the sun, nuclear fits that bill. Uh, nuclear will be around longer than the sun. Uh, every piece of dirt on average has about three parts per million uranium and about nine parts per million thorium. And the uranium, it's got a half-life about the age of the earth, so that when the sun goes red giant in about five billion years, the uranium still be here. Half of it will be gone, sure, from radioactive decay, but very little of the thorium will have decayed. It's got a half-life that's about the age of the universe. So the thorium's gonna be around a lot longer. And what's, what's interesting though, is that right now, natural erosion of, uh, uh, of the mountains, it's, it's taking little bits of uranium from the granite and it's just dumping in the ocean. If we were to passively extract uranium from seawater, you don't have to dig a hole anymore. And some of the latest research claims that we can do this in a way that's cost effective. So that nine times the annual electrical needs of the United States is just being dumped into the ocean from natural erosion. And it's just continually plating out year after year. If we were to use that, you know, then it becomes entirely sustainable, especially if we, especially if we started to recycle and started to use depleted uranium in our fuel cycle or something like that. So it depends on how you define it, but the way that I would define it, I would say, yeah, it does qualify, but it depends on how you define it. <laughs>